The world has changed since I went to school. Who would like to challenge me, the NIM master? There's a lot of things that are similar. Some volunteers? Yeah, beautiful. Grab a seat. But there's so many more skills. On your paper test though, you nailed it. It's not so much now about being able to just recall facts and pulling information from their head. It's a different world. The maths is meaningful to them because it's achievable for them. It's not too hard, it's not too easy. It's just where they're at. I don't know of any other program that will give us that platform to be able to help. I think I want to be a kind of teacher that can help every student in my class to achieve success. We wanted to differentiate for every student at their level, but we were really struggling. You know they're behind, but it's not really clear, hey, they still need to go back to grade three place value. The reality is that what we were doing wasn't working. There's only so many hours in the day that you can try to differentiate for them. You're trying to teach students how to do fractions and decimals when they don't understand number, so they just get left behind. Works kind of like you're building a house. You don't want to have only 10 out of the 12 bricks on the bottom line and then just keep building on top of it because eventually it'll fall down. Sometimes just the way the curriculum is, it moves too quick for them and they don't get that chance to really understand what's going on. And I guess they feel like they get left behind. The way that I tried to tackle the need for differentiation in, in the classroom was by rolling up my sleeve and working my guts out. Champion points and hero points where students could do extension work and remediation work. I had students working really hard, enjoying mathematics class. My deputy principal went off and presented my work at conferences. It didn't work. It looked like it worked. The students were having a great time. I was getting lots of praise. But when I sat back and thought, well, what is mathematics really? And are my students learning it? The answer was no. So in my second year of teaching, I came up with a way to individually diagnose the learning needs of each individual student in the class, provide different work to every individual student, and create assessment tasks that assess different students differently depending on what they were learning. A very basic cut down version of what is now Math Pathway, and I did it all by hand. Richard was able to make stuff using technology and I was like, oh geez, this would be good. Justin, who had been doing the same sort of work I'd been doing, came to me and said, hey look, I've got this really great model, can we build something, can we actually make this work? And we got it to the point where it, it turned over pretty well, it worked well in my classroom. And then we thought, well I wonder if we can get it to work in the classroom across the hall. And then just over time it grew into the sense that actually there was something that could help not just us and our students, but actually potentially the other 1.6 million kids in this country. So I gave Richard a call and said, hey, I've resigned. Do you want to resign as well? <laughs> and, yeah. and luckily for me, he did. We couldn't even have developed this without having been teachers. If you come up with something that's brilliant in theory, but can't work in a practical classroom, it's next to useless. It's offering more challenge for students to actually apply their understanding in a multiple of ways rather than just writing it on either side of the red line. What we do is not to create some brand new idea about how you should teach, but to make all of that practical. They were like, oh my goodness, this is everything we've ever dreamed of. I just love the way the Math Pathways is at their level. They're learning the things they need to learn before they move on. It's kind of more individual, you don't need to catch up with anyone. Meets them at their point of need in an emotional way, but also academically. Maths Pathways kind of gives us the platform to differentiate with ease. Being able to diagnose and understand where every student is is so important. That's allowing us to identify what gaps we need to improve. I've got all of that in my back pocket, so to speak. I can see exactly their level of learning in math. It tells you that data straight away. You're stretching your class to fill every possible gap that there is. Everyone starts at their own level, so it's not going to be anything too hard or anything you already know. It's going to be perfectly tailored to you, I guess. 
The lessons are very dynamic and they look very, very different to a traditional classroom where the kids are just sitting in rows, passively absorbing information. They're actively doing things and then the teacher's actively moving around the room, talking to the individual students. It's differentiated, it's individualised, it's growth mindset, ticks every box. What you need is a learning and teaching model. You need all the supports that go with that. Yes, resources and tools and technology are part of that, but so is professional development and so is change management and implementation science. It's simply about using all the tools that are available to us in this day and age to make sure that we can get the best education to students. But sometimes there's nothing better than a couple of blocks. We'll use that where that makes more sense. Quite a lot of people who first hear about Math Pathways feel that it's all computer generated and the computer teaches the child, which is totally incorrect. Yes, there's a video to help them, but they peer teach, they self-learn, and most importantly, I think very valuable learning is in the rich tasks and the mini lessons because that's where the learning takes place in the conversations that you have. I really want to become a professional football player. If you want to get good at soccer, there are three things you're going to have to do. You're going to have to just practice your footwork. You need to actually go by yourself and do drills with the ball. It needs to be in your body at some point. And it's sort of the same with math. You just keep working till that clicks in your head and like you get it right. And this is how the Maths Pathway program is built as well. The modules are like the solo practice. That's just about getting the skills into your body, getting them to be second nature. They'll come in, sit down, get themselves ready, make sure they have a red pen, a blue pen, they've got a charge device, they've got their book, they're ready to go. Making those connections that you can just pull these out when you need them. The modules are targeted at their level, at their point of need. You can see how much further they're moving down the continuum. Then we'll come back together and we generally do an energizer. It's like a time to have a five minute break and reset your mind on a different math subject. And then there's the mini lessons, which is like that squad practice where you say, hey, we've got a little group, we're all working on the same thing. Let's see if we can get this together. Let's see if we can work together and figure out how to use each other and help each other and really understand this in a deeper way. If you're stuck on a module, then you get to do a mini clinic to help you with that. We can explicitly focus on that topic with maybe two or three other students. The old school chalk and talk, I guess, but we're doing it with small groups. There's so much evidence and data that we're provided in so many ways, but it can't be applied to what you're doing in the classroom tomorrow, whereas the data that we get from Pathways can be. What it's enabled me to do is plan mini lessons that are really going to cater for certain small groups of students, because I know where they're at sit down together, work through the concept. We got out some tools to kind of help us to build a visual map of how to complete the module. There are these things that you do to practice in a more directed way with a team, with more coaching. It allows us to group kids and to explicitly meet them where they're at. And finally, there is the rich tasks, and that is the game. And that's where you bring everything together, where you use each other, where you use the skills you've been practicing. It's sort of like a mini lesson, but different. It's like more hands-on playing with stuff. I don't think of it as being maths, I just think of it as a fun activity, but they are incorporating everything they know about maths at the same time. It allows me to talk as though maths is a very practical, real part of the world. You've got to actually get out there and do the real thing. There's no explicit outcome. We're not expecting you to you know, build a giant sandcastle or we're not expecting you to do anything with it. We just want to see where you can go. Trying to bring that challenge and the question back into it, um, sparking their curiosity and again, bringing those light bulb moments. And you actually do the math. You have the rich learning experience that makes the whole thing worth it. I believe it's so important to have a strong relationship with each kid in my class. Five. How much have we got now? All right, you ready? Two! My connection to them is paramount. So it's more than just knowing their data or their stats or their growth rate. It's knowing them as a person. Okay, so it's an area for growth? Yep. Have you got some notes for yourself? That's really good. Maths Pathway makes the student the centre of everything. Students who don't feel connected don't learn. 
And what we as teachers need to be doing is guiding the children to find the correct knowledge and to expand their minds. Helping them to understand why they got that one wrong and what they can do, how they can think about it differently is the most valuable time you have. Until you actually do it, you don't realise how little one-on-one -on -one time each student gets in a regular or traditional maths classroom. It's crucial to be affirming and to celebrate success of students. 300% growth, master, boom! How good is math? Math yes. is great. And small high fives here and there. Sometimes it's a public celebration, sometimes it's just those private knowing moments between a teacher and a student that makes all the difference. You understand the game. Yeah. You're near masses. Congratulations all, right? But the next level is to be able to explain to somebody else how to be a NIM master. All right? You can use this, you can use the whiteboard. People have these very strong senses in their mind of what mathematics is and who they are in regard to that subject. Am I a mathematician or am I not? I don't believe the statement that you're not a maths person. It's not a real thing. There's plenty of parents out there who believe maths is some sort of specialist capacity that's poured into some brains and not into others. You have to work at everything. No one was born learning how to read. No one was born learning how to do maths. Every person dictates the destination they get to by what roads they take. And just because you're not great at maths now doesn't mean you can't be. So it aligns with that idea of the growth mindset. Hard work you put into it is what you get out of it. They can reflect and say, how am I going to improve that for the next test? If I make a mistake, it's not going to matter because I can still get it right in the end. Wow. I'm a person who's capable of understanding that. That's powerful. That's what I love seeing every day. Two weeks ago, our top achieving student was my weakest math student, and you could not have taken a smile off of her face. It allows students to do things at their own pace. It allows teachers to help students at an individual level, and it helps parents feel that their children are growing and changing and getting the best maths education they can get. That first time they get 200% or 300%, for a kid who's never got a good maths result ever, that is the best feeling and it makes them want to do more. And I had four parents sit down in four different interviews and say to me, I don't care what you're doing, my student loves going to maths now and that's all that matters. Last year I did something that was in level 10 called inequalities that I mastered. He's not wasting time on stuff that he already knows, so that's probably why his progression is so good. Maths is way better than what it was before. I thought I was doing a great job and I was getting results from kids, but I haven't seen results like the results we're getting at the moment. You take the boundaries off it and then some kids just fly. On average, those students were learning before Maths Pathway at about 0.6 years worth of learning per year. With Maths Pathway, they've more than doubled that and they're now learning at 1.25 years worth of learning per year. Now we have the data to back it. I can see their average growth rate, how many modules they've completed, the level of accuracy. Students are engaged in their learning, they're motivated to learn, they're driven to learn. If you just like try to memorise math, it doesn't work. But if you like understand it, then you can do any question. We're seeing growth beyond anything that they could have achieved in a traditional classroom. It gives me the attitude to like, I can do it and no one can stop me. Now I can do advanced algebraic substitution and I'm in grade six. That's exciting, yo, I finally get it. And they're taking ownership of their learning. Success builds on success. Now I, I like love math. You're hearing one of the politicians in New South Wales saying that teachers need the tools to be able to individualise the learning of students. And I said to myself, we already have that tool and it's Matt's pathway. It was a necessary prerequisite to meet students where they're at. I just can't imagine teaching in the traditional way again. Come look at my class and see how amazing the change is. Come and have a look. 
come and watch the delight on their faces. How the children interact, the growth that's happening, the delight that's happening, it speaks for itself, really. It's about building the capacity to work like a mathematician. Really being able to think slowly and deeply about problems, being able to solve non-routine things, being able to collaborate, being able to think outside the box, really switch your brain on. It's a place where you go in and follow your curiosity, where you are collaborative, where you are exploring the unknown, and where you're really owning what you get. And in that place, success is a byproduct. Yesterday during our mini lesson, one of our young girls, um, she's not particularly, you know, the best academically um, when it comes to math. And she turned around and she looked at me and she said, I really enjoy this lesson, miss. I really enjoy being in this class. It's the moments like that that make me um, really passionate about carrying on with what I'm doing with Maths Pathway because that's what teaching should be about, about children having a voice. And I feel that these students, they really do.